Ever since we took the high-speed rail back in Portugal and Spain, I have been obsessed with trains as a form of transportation, and tonight we are actually going to be checking off something off my bucket list that I've been super excited for, and that's to take an overnight train through Finland in our own private sleeper car. have a room on the second floor. I can't wait to see it. Oh my gosh, so cute. Hello. Oh yes, is this is room <laughs> service. <laughs> Welcome to our little overnight sleeper. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of where we'll be spending the night. So first of all, on my right, we have a little area where we can hang our jackets. And then to my left, we have two cute little bunk beds. I have claimed the bottom bunk because Chad has claimed the top bunk. And in these areas, we actually have really big storage units. So you can stuff your luggage in there, your bags. In addition, each of our beds has its own personal light. So you can do some light reading if you so desire to. And there's also an area where you can set an alarm so you can sleep and make sure that you wake up on time when the train is at your destination. And then also there's a charging unit as well as some announcements from the conductor that will come through the little speaker system. As you can see, we have some free complimentary water and also some towels. And that is because our overnight sleeper actually has its own private bathroom. Behind this magical door is the bathroom area. There's a mirror, a sink, and a toilet, but the fun does not stop there. There's actually a secret shower area, which I think is super, super cool, and let me show you that part. So on the side of this vanity, there's this little gray knob, and if you pull it, it reveals a shower. And just like that, you have your very own shower space and I can wash my hair, wash my body while on an overnight sleeper and this really blew me away. So for some reason the train is pretty much empty so I'm now going to explore some of these lower rooms. So basically these are the rooms that don't have the bathroom so it looks like you have a little vanity in here. The other thing that I find really cool about this room is that it connects over to this room. So if you have like a whole party of four people, family, you can open this door and go into the other room. The other thing that really surprised me about this train is that there was actually no security to get on. Um, they didn't even look at our tickets until we were already on the train and it was moving. Ooh, I probably should not touch that. So we just got back after exploring the train and oh my gosh, the coolest part was the restaurant car. There are these little alleyways to get to the side booths. So all of the tables are pushed to one side of the car and I guess it just uses the space in the train so much better, or at least it's just a design that I've never seen before. Claire is taking off her shoes and she is relaxing. I am ready to enjoy this overnight train. I'm actually getting kind of sleepy. <laughs> I know the rocking of the train is so nice. I know it's like swaying me right to bed but I don't want to sleep yet because I want to enjoy it. <laughs> It is now time for my little train snacky that I have prepared beforehand. So this is a karam piranka, which is a Finnish pastry with a rye crust, and it's traditionally filled with rice porridge and also egg butter. And it looks really cute, kind of has this like little scalloped edge around it, and then on the inside it just looks kind of cheesy. <laughs> <laughs> It kind of reminds me a little bit of the Portuguese pastel de nata. It has that same like eggy taste to it, but it's definitely on the savory side and not the sweet side. So I actually ate mine earlier, but I will gladly take another bite if you'll offer it. Mm. Don't worry, you can have a bite. It is officially time to give the shower a try. <laughs> and they actually provide some shower caps for us and I'm going to use it because I actually washed my hair last night. So I don't want to get it wet tonight. Oh. Okay, let's put it on. You would be a really cute lunch lady. Would I? <laughs> Chad, do you mind heating up the water for me? Of course, of course. <laughs> I am now gonna get the shower ready for Claire, but I also wanna say this is such a good idea for vans because it protects the toilet from getting wet. Yeah, I like this design. Oh, that was easy. It is not warm yet. It is not warm yet. Probably heating up. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that shower was so impressive. The water temperature is actually as hot as like the water that we'd have in a house shower. And so that was really awesome. And then also the shampoo smells amazing. Even though I didn't have to wash my hair tonight, I still use the shampoo all over my body. And now I smell like a wonderful flower and everything just went very perfectly. I think we are gonna go to bed soon because like we said, this rocking is rocking us like babies straight to sleep and we are going to take advantage of that and get a good night's rest. So with that, we will see you guys tomorrow morning. We have to leave the train soon. We are taking this train from Helsinki up to Rovaniemi, where we are going to do so many fun winter activities, and we're gonna be arriving in probably around 30 minutes or so. I might tie my shoe really quick. I'm tired. I can go. How do we open this door? The door would not open on our way trying to get off of the train and then the train started moving because we couldn't open the door after a few minutes of trying to press the button and there was no one there to help us. So we are now extending our train ride for another hour to get off at that stop and then hopefully taking another train back to Rovaniemi. They're so distraught. So if you couldn't tell by my face, yes, I was very distraught by that incident. But now that it's been about 30 minutes since it happened, looking back on it, it's actually quite <laughs> It's actually kind of funny because we were both there with our suitcases and Chad was just frantically pressing the button for the door to open and it wouldn't open and there are people on the other side of the door like walking by just looking at us we're like oh my gosh and then the train starts moving and we're just like ah and the Finns looking at us we're probably just like oh my goodness they need help but they can't do anything obviously so we definitely learned our lesson this time and the conductor was nice enough to look up a bus that is going to take us from the next city back over to Rome Miami, and that is what we're gonna do. I think it'll cost maybe 20 euros, but overall, a nice little life lesson for us. We will be waiting by the door the next time we're trying to get off a train. But what is cool is the sun is starting to rise, so we'll actually be able to see the nature of Finland because overnight, obviously, we couldn't see anything. <laughs> 13 hours later. It's now a 20 minute walk to the bus station. Yeah, at least we're getting a workout. <laughs> We have finally made it to Rovaniemi and what a wild and crazy 16 hours it was to get here. And now that we are in Lapland, it kind of gives you guys a little clue as to what the future videos will be. So if you would like to follow along on the journey, definitely hit subscribe. And with that, we will see you guys next time with some really fun activities. Bye!